Hey everyone. So I was on the way home from um, the Green River this morning. Actually, it's afternoon now. And this, I came across a cemetery I never knew was here that's not too far from my house. It's only maybe five miles and I didn't know this was here. So I just want to walk through it a little bit and see if there's any interesting stones. There's got to be some interesting stones here. Whoever this is wasn't forgotten. There's flowers on his grave, Harris. He gave his love, laughter, and joy. We don't see when he died, though. Maybe it's on the... August 21st, 2008. He was born November 28th, 1953. Beloved son. Oh, I wonder if that means his parents outlived him. I'll move this here so I can read it. Beloved son to Bonnie. Beloved brother to Debbie, Brandon, Bonnie, Emily, and DJ. A pretty little picture. Let me... Sorry, guys. Pretty little picture of like a cabin on the stone. So rest in peace to you. Here's one with a picture. They're doing some construction and they're mowing in here today too, guys. Feist. Looks like they both passed away, one in 1992 and the other one in 1990. Born 1921 and 1927, Frank and Edith. Rest in peace to you two. I see a pretty monument in here somewhere, but now I gotta find it. Don't remember where I saw it. Wow, it's windy out here today, guys. Sorry. Oh, they're doing tree trimming, I think. Over here. Yep, they are. Maybe it was down the center aisle, I think. Well, maybe not. I know I saw something somewhere, but I don't know where it was now. Maybe this up here. No, those are just old stones. Boy, they're all over the place here today, working in this cemetery. These old Here's a couple of etched stones. Well, yeah, I guess they're etched. But I like the ones with the pictures of the people. Abney, David G. and Patricia. David passed away in 2011. He was born December 21st, 1943. I don't know what this means. N-H-R-A. I don't know what that means. And these little things on his stone. And then this the back, it's just his name. And next to it is the right stone. Somebody left pop here and candy. He must he must have liked these or she. David. It's David. He must have liked the peppermint balls. And Dr. Pepper. This is Dr. Pepper. Huh. 
Got a picture of a cow. David Lynn, June 8th, 1957 to April 6th, 2021. Donna is his wife, but she's still living. And the front is like this. Our daughter, our daughter, niece, granddaughters, Briley and Avery. Pretty. Let's see if I come across something else. This is the older part of the cemetery, guys. I'm coming across all these old stones. But I love when you can still read them like this. So W.D. Garnet. 1837 to 1896. Molly A., his wife, 1840 to 1881. Gus T., their son, 1869 to 1903. Even their son was young when he died. Um, and then this one, this is a really pretty stone, too. And it says, Our mother, our father and mother. Look how pretty this, the Pendletons. Very pretty stone. You can't really read the mother's side, but the father's side. W. Pendleton, born December 1st, 1822. And he died December 4th, 1870. Wow. But the mother... This is the mother's side, and you just can't even read it except for her name was Annie. It looks like Annie E, maybe. I can't read it. Too bad. Look at these old stones. Wow, these are the ones that... This is sad to see this. Like, I think this belongs to the top of this. The one next to it. This stone fell completely off its base and it's facing down so you can't even read it. Even if it was legible. Um, this you can't read at all. I wish somebody would like come along and fix these. Like just pick them up and put them where they belong. These are really old. You can't read those. Let's see this one. No, you can't read it. Died in 1884, though. That's about all I could read. When do I mean to come back here when there's not so much noise? And, uh... See if I can find anything interesting. Let's go over here. Wow, this is old. Look at this. I don't even think this belongs here. Maybe, maybe it does. Look at all these stones just knocked over. Downer. At least you can read the la name right there. I don't know what that is laying there. <clears throat> so you can't really read the names other than the last name, I guess, Downer. Here's another downer. So I don't know if they're related. Can't really read the rest of that stone either. I don't know what VA stands for. Look 
burn it. I see the letter M and then I think a T maybe next to it. Not sure though about what's next to it. But yeah, you can't read those either. But they're they're within these rails here, so oh you can read this. Maggie G. Payne, 1844 to 1920, or 1930. And then Virgil A., February 10th, 1837 to November 16th, 1899. So VA, I wonder if it stands for Virgil A. I don't know what else that would stand for on the side where it said VA. Okay, let's go some on to the next one here. I came across a Hancock stone. I always wonder if when I come across a Hancock stone in the south, if they happen to be related. Probably not, but you never know. I mean, my family is so huge on both sides that there's a actually probably a good chance they are. But Joe Henry was born June 6, 1920, and died December 26, 1986. And Nora Stump died December 1, 1992. It doesn't say when she was born. I wonder why they don't put the birth dates on there. I wonder if it's at the request of, like, her. This Hancock on the back. There's Hancock and now here's Williams. That's my <laughs> that's my other name. James D and Janice. I don't see any dates in there at all. Oh look at this. Where does this go? It's like in the middle of the aisle. This is strange. It says Morgan Lynn Junkins, June 9th, 1994 to October 26th, 1994. Aww. Aww, poor baby. That's sad. Why is it in the middle of crooked in the middle of the aisle? Where does it go? Hmm. Rest in peace, little one. Morgan Lynn. Rest in peace. Oh, here it looks like a pretty stone up here. Looks like they just passed away. It's right in front of this. But they must have had the stone here. The cows, the barn, the pasture, sitting on a swing, the church up top. Very pretty stone. Yeah, it must be for Nancy because so it's Claxton William R. January 15th, 1924 to February 18th, 2012. Um, together 59 years. Wow. Um, Nancy says March 4th, 1933, but he has no death date. So it's possible that Nancy was buried here and just passed away. Well, if so, rest in peace to both of you. Unless it's for Lancaster. It might be for Lancaster. Well, no, because... Yeah, it looks like Robert was is still living. He was born November 9th, 1938. But there's no death date for him. But Marianne, June 23rd, 1941. Oh, there's no death date for either one of them. This is a pretty stone, too. But with the light, you can't really see it. With the sun shining... But it could be, I'm not sure which person this is. But rest in peace to whoever it is. Oh, 
Um, I see another stone with a picture. Where'd it go? There it is. This is an unusual stone. You know, it's shaped like a rock or something like Libby, Joshua Ryan, August 18th, 1981 to December 3rd, 2008. And God, I put my trust. I don't know if you can see the stone, guys. Very pretty. It's birds flying and the clouds above and it's just a pretty stone. Let's see what the back says. Libby, husband of Casey, father of Madison and Jamison, son of Rich and Kathy, brother of Sherry. Hmm. There's another Hancock. A few Hancocks out here. Looks like Deborah died in 2022. She was born January 18, 1955. Um, and Paul Edward is still alive. Hancock, gone but not forgotten. Oh, this one says, Gary E. Bybee. Bybee, September 25th, 1958 to September 4th, 2002. My husband, my heart, my soulmate. Oh. I'm sure his wife was heartbroken, huh? I mean, if it was his wife. Could have been a girlfriend. Back just says bye bye. So I think I'm just going to head home. I don't know what else to look at because I didn't know this place was here. It's nice to know it's this close to me. So maybe I can be back. Here's another old stone. Morrison it says Morrison Annie wife of Eugene Morrison Jr. July 4th 1872 January 14th 1897 she didn't live long 72 25 years Blessed are, I can't read it. Blessed are the something. Oh, if the husband's on this side, you can't read it at all. It's all, yeah, that's too bad. little bit of unusual stones. Amanda Keller Lloyd, 1854 to 1921. It says mother on the front. And then this one says father. Robert R. Lloyd, 1840 to 1904. Lots of old stones here. Okay, I guess I'll just head home. I don't see anything else right now. All this noise around me, I just want to go home, I think. And, um... Yeah. Okay, guys, I'll catch you later. Thanks for watching my little video of the, the cemetery that I just came across. Maybe I'll be back and go to a different section and see if there's anything interesting. Okay, catch you later.